Hey guys, Andrea Photo here, and today we're gonna do street photography with a film camera. Okay, so in case you guys don't want to see me blabber about this camera and go straight to the POV video, I'll be including the timestamp below. You can skip on over to that POV if you're not in interested in me yammering about some, uh, some old film camera from the 1970s. But in case you guys are interested, let me give you a little bit of background about this film camera. So as I said, this is my uncle's old Nikon F2 AS. Uh, it's a 35mm film camera that was made sometime around the 1970s to the 1980s. This is a full manual camera. It doesn't have any automatic settings. I had a lot of challenges when I shot with this camera for today's video. Let me enumerate some of the challenges. The first thing is that this camera does have a light meter, but it's busted. So I had to do manual light metering using an app on my phone. That's the most important thing. The second thing that's wrong with this camera is that certain shutter speeds do not function. Shutter speeds from one one half of a second up to one fifteenth of a second were busted. So I couldn't use those shutter speeds. But that's okay, you don't really shoot with those shutter speeds for street photography except for very special circumstances. So those two were the major problems when shooting with this camera for today's video. Now let's go to the problems with the lenses. The lenses that I'm using for today are the 24mm f2.8, the 35mm f2, and of course the big boy, the 135mm f2.8. So all of these lenses haven't been CLA'd. Most, most of these lenses are caked with fungus. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if you can see the fungus in the lenses. Maybe I'll include them here. They're caked with fungus, so that posed a bit of a challenge. Um, I've heard that when shooting with fungus caked lenses, your contrast and color fidelity go down by a lot. Uh, but you be the judge of that when I show you the videos in this POV. So aside from that, I'm also shooting a bit handicapped because take for example the 35mm f2. This lens's focus, focus ring is stuck at infinity. So I cannot focus anywhere except infinity. As you can see, it's very stuck. And the focus ring of the 135mm is also stiff, but still very usable. So I'm shooting with fungus and caked lenses, and I'm shooting with lenses that have very stiff focus rings. So aside from that, uh, before we head on over to the video, the film I'm using today is the Fujifilm C200. It's a widely accessible film, especially here in the Philippines because you can get it at any Fujifilm Philippines uh, developing lab which are, which are all scattered around these uh, the islands. That's basically it. Uh, stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be giving you guys my first impressions of shooting with film, especially for street photography. So without much anything else, let's head on over to the video. Today is just gorgeous. I mean, the sunlight today, it's starting to get to that December weather. I don't know, the sunlight today is great. It's nice, very nice. This is nice too. Let's see if this is any good. No, that's too much. F4, F, let's do F4 1250. Okay, let's wait for the first one. Gotcha. Okay, nice. Let's see how that went. I saw a bus driver. 
driver sleeping in his bus or just waiting by his bus. Let's see if we can do this justice. Let's get a reading first. Hope he doesn't he don't hope he doesn't run me over. Reading is 250. F4251250. Okay. Light is starting to get pretty damn harsh right about now. That's nice. But it's in a lot of shadow. Lens hood on. Go for the shade. Shade, shade, shade. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yes, perfect. That is. Eight, F5.6 F5.6160 F4 F4125 mo lang pala Aha, always wanted to photograph this to 24mm this is oops my bad to sunny f16 f16 1500 really okay so good let's do it f16 1500 infinity Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm out. I am out of film. I'm out of film, guys. I am really out of film. Now to find a place to change. Well, would you look at that? Okay guys, I'm just gonna do a quick review because last time, as you all know, I fucked up my film. I like, I really, really fucked it up. Moment of truth, guys. So, I... No, first of all, I'm gonna take this, this little hot shoe adapter off. Then, I will press the rewind button here. Hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll have to keep it depressed. I have to keep it depressed. Uh, anyway, here goes nothing, guys. Put this up a little. Okay, I'm keeping it depressed. Now, I am rotating the rewind crown. I'm keeping it depressed because I don't want it to have to happen what happened last time. I can feel the film release cap moving but I don't know why oh there I felt the resistance and there's no resistance anymore so I really really hope that this is the this means that the film's okay okay so the moment of truth guys if I open this and my film's exposed that means I'll be fucked all over again come on please baby let's see let's see let's see let's see Okay, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, film did it. Your boy did it. Okay. 
Okay, we did it. We did it. The film is all good in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, film god. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Close it. No more tug, resistance. Make two blank exposures. And the rewind crank is turning. Let's see one more time. Yep, the rewind crank is turning, so that means our film has successfully engaged. That is my first tactical reload in the field. Okay. later guys I've been waiting here for around 10 15 minutes already I just really need somebody to pass by here in the middle for the shot to be complete god I hope this frame turns out okay I really really hope this film turns out okay I just love the colors the colors are so amazing but yeah I think I got you. I, I think I got you. I think I got you. F5.61125. Okay guys, so that's where we're going. Okay, first impressions of shooting with film for street photography, especially with street photography. Can I just say how much I love the process even though it takes so damn long? From loading the film, to checking your settings on an app, to reading the light rather through an app, to making the shot, then unloading the film, sending it in for development, then scanning the film, and then uh, converting it in Lightroom or in a post-processing app into the image that you want. It makes you have more of a connection with the images that you take, and it makes you value the images more. Um, with that said, the 36 exposures that you guys are limited to when shooting with film makes you slow down. It makes you put importance to each shot a lot more than just by going all burst mode with digital. So it makes you think about your composition. It makes you think about the light that's coming through the lens. It's making you think about the colors. It's making you slow down, conserve your shots, and only shoot when you think that the moment is right. It, it took away a lot of pressure when I was making this video and it gave me time to really think about my shots. Um, and the last detail that I can say is the colors that I'm getting from this are totally different. Each film has its own unique characteristic. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's how the film interprets light and forces that chemical reaction to come out on the film when you're taking the image. I don't know if I that made much sense, but all I can say is that the colors that you get when you're shooting with film are totally different. This is definitely not the last time that I'll be taking out this camera to do street photography. I'll be sending these some of these lenses in for repair in the coming months, in the coming days rather, and I'll be receiving more lenses that have been dejected, been left home without a caretaker. So again, this is Andrea Photo. I do street photography here around Baguio City in the Philippines and apparently now I do film photography as well. So please, if you like to comment, please consider subscribing, liking, or sharing. It would help the channel out a lot and it would show me that you guys are interested in what I'm doing here. So yeah, uh, again, this is Andrea Photo and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.